Hi everyone, I'm Gaming Bob, and this video is a Let's Build video on Sims 4. And today we are in Willow Creek, and I am turning Steamless Single into a nice starter home. The ground is 20 by 15 squares, and it is one bedroom and one bathroom. The downstairs, as I'm building now, is kind of an open plan. And overall, the cost is 23,594 simoleons. The, the house you can buy, actually, uh, the, you can actually download it. Um, the links are in the description below. I'm just sticking in the stairs now, but I end up switching them round. And they kind of, I like how they peer into the room. So when you come down the stairs, the just it's you're already in the room sort of thing it's not just on its own just making the back part a bit bigger um because we needed to the downstairs this room that i'm make, doing now is the front room and the dining room so i needed space for the dining room and I, but i wanted the half wall so i wanted it to be separate so i built a fence and put pillars up and did a little fancy top wall thing. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm extending this one now. The upstairs, there's only enough room for the bed in the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, now I'm just doing the porch. It's just a little, there's a little back porch as well, which I really like. I was going to put the door into the, from the, going to the kitchen, but then I thought, I decided, um, I changed my mind, I thought it looked better in the, from the dining room. The windows at the top actually change, funnily enough. Um, I changed them because it doesn't fit on the roof, but all the windows are kind of symmetrical in this, and they're evenly spread, and I love that. Um, whenever I built a Sims house before, it was it would annoy me when the windows wouldn't be even. Now I'm just copying the floor from the the front room to the hall. The great thing about the Sims Four is how easy it is to build walls and to make roofs, like. I had so much difficulty uh, in Sim in Sims Three. It w I got really frustrated because there'd be really nice houses with really nice roofs, um, with a really nice roof, and it just didn't look right. Mine, it just never went well. Where this one, you can change it as much as you want, and you can make it go higher. It's just brilliant. You can drag it, and the, also. Uh, another thing I love about The Sims 4 is you can pick up stairs. In Sims 3 you could not do that, you couldn't pick up the stairs, you had to undo it or delete it. So I think it's just a time saver to that you can move it. Now I'm doing the outside wallpaper now and I choose panelling because I noticed around the other houses it's panelling so I decided to one up and um, I decided to one up it, uh, one up the neighbourhood, and put bricks on it as well because I, I really like it when it's got bricks on the bottom and then panelling at the top because <laughs> I'm that type of person. <laughs> uh, the kitchen is, in fact, I like the whole house actually, but the kitchen is one of the rooms where it's just great. It's got everything that you a standard kitchen would need and there's room for like personalities there's room for for you to change and you don't have to screw up the whole house to do it or you know you don't have to move everything to do it there's plenty of room still now we're just doing the dining room and front room and I had to change the mirrors 
so then the fireplace could fit. There was a bit of a weird thing going on with the fireplace. It does not look like that. <laughs> um, I wanted to do a modern front room with a flat screen, but that isn't that's too expensive for a starter home so we ended up with a big chunky tv in the corner but i love the uh, how it looked i love how it came out it looks brilliant and the dining room is quite plain actually it's just got the table and chairs and a plant and also a bowl of fruit to liven it up a little bit uh, there's four chairs because in case people have guests round or things like that but because there's only the one bedroom I figured you know there's n there's no need to add like a six seater or anything Um the but like I said before the house is just a starter home the sims get jobs and then you can pay for and you know, upgrade or change things in the house I didn't use the nightstand I normally use the nightstand for a phone and for a clock but I didn't have to do it this time and I was a bit frustrated with the fact that I had a nightstand but with nothing on it so I decided to put plants on there instead it still kind of weirds me out the fact that they don't have alarm clocks on this um like the old ones and that they don't have phones either they don't have like landlines because people still have landlines i mean i still have a landline anyway i'm not sure about everybody else but i have a landline and does everyone else have a landline i'm not sure but <laughs> Um, oh, I'm doing a white picket fence now. I've gotten a bit of a rant then. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a white picket fence because obviously it's this nice little starter home. And it needs a white picket fence. <laughs> so this is it then. We're just going into the tour. We've put some trees and some garden and stuff there. I actually put the house a bit to the side so then you could put extensions on if you wanted to. Um but I use that for the trees and the plant pots at the minute. I love the wraparound roof. That is one of the things that I love about this house. The wraparound roof. And we're going to go inside in a second. So the kitchen has blue and white tiles and kind of a laminate, not a laminate, um, like a tiled floor as well. And it's just a nice little, like everything is the cheapest it can be without looking tacky in a way. The front room, I got the cheapest couch but decided to change it up a bit because the white would look a bit boring. So I changed it up a, a little bit. Um, and then in here you can see the the tiling of the bathroom and the black floor. And this one has just got the black, uh, the blue wallpaper and the bed. There's not much room actually in the, in the bedroom. And the landing has the same wallpaper and flooring as the front room and di uh, front room. And there we have it. It um, there's a little step there to come out uh, to come out the back if you wanted because that just looks the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and so yeah, bit of a lag there. <laughs> oh no. Um, but yeah, it matches. Um, there's like the other houses in the neighbourhood have front porches so I thought it would only be suiting if I have a front porch and panelling on the walls as well and that sort of roof because they all have the same roof. I like it when the neighbourhoods kind of match together so yeah. I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you did 
comment down below if you want to see me do any other videos like this any other let's build like maybe a bar or a mansion or even challenge me to do one certain price or something anything like that and subscribe for more videos and if you do download this house and you want to share it when you personalize it and you want to share it on twitter add me at gaming bub because i'd love to see how you personalized it and how you improved it and things like that um so yeah thank you for watching laters bye